Welcome to this step-by-step -step tutorial on how to analyze employee utilization in Enterprise Planning Cloud. You can analyze how employees are utilized for your organization's planned projects. Enterprise Planning Cloud has built-in capability to integrate between workforce and projects, assigning employees to projects to help you derive employee utilization. You enable both workforce and projects. And in Workforce, you include the custom dimension Project. Enterprise Planning Cloud provides out-of-the-box project utilization calculations and analytics so that you can perform project utilization analysis, giving you insight into workforce metrics. In Workforce, you can see the utilization of employees across projects or on a per-project basis. When you integrate Workforce and Projects, you can obtain employee-level FTE input from projects in Workforce. Let's start by entering FTE data for employees. For full-time employees, you can enter 1. Utilization data for employees across projects is based on assignments. I'll start by assigning employees to a project. You can reassign employees to projects as needed and review FTE, labor hours, and expenses allocated to a project. Next, I'll calculate expenses. After the data is calculated in projects, it is shared with Workforce so that it can be included in utilization calculations. I'll aggregate my data so that I can review the FTE requirements across projects. Member formulas drive utilization calculations, which are part of the aggregations. Workforce expectations for FTE and total labor hours are listed by job for each year. We can analyze employee utilization to determine if they are over or under committed. Employees who are over committed have a utilization beyond a threshold limit, such as 100% or 110% if they are usually assigned to multiple projects. Analyze how employees are assigned to projects. Employee utilization, FTE, labor hours, and allocated project expense by job are listed for each project. This helps you examine the details of how employees are utilized for each project to better determine where adjustments can be made. We can review utilization for all projects within a department by job. We can also see a specific employee's utilization. In this example, the employee is being utilized at 100% for each of two projects. We can change an employee assignment. I'll change the FTE for an employee on one of the projects the employee is assigned to. After making the FTE change, I'll recalculate the utilization. Notice that the employee utilization was updated to reflect the FTE change so that the employee's commitment is reduced. After making adjustments to our employee utilization, let's go back and review the overall plan. Workforce utilization is displayed on the Overview tab by Department. Within a department, we can see how expenses are allocated to projects. We can also review our planned staffing requirements for all projects within a department. Jobs are displayed in the rows, and the FTE requested for all projects within the specified department are listed by job. We can see employee utilization across projects. In this tutorial, you saw how to analyze employee utilization in Enterprise Planning Cloud. To learn more, visit cloud.oracle.com.